of the weekend violence on the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. This is a story we've been covering on the scene since early yesterday morning. Police called to three armed robberies, two stabbings, and three shootings Saturday night and into Sunday morning. They tell 10 on your side they received more than 300 911 calls between 6 p.m. and 4 a.m. This afternoon, business owners are raising the red flag about the weekend crime problems on the Strip as the summer tourist season quickly approaches. Right now, 10 on your sides, Ann McNamara is live in Virginia Beach with the very latest developments. And what can you tell us? Well, Cheryl, the business owners say they have the most to lose. Some say this is a PR battle now, trying to get that image back. The others say they actually lost revenue this weekend, partially because the majority of the crowd did not even go into the businesses or patronize the businesses, and the regulars were staying away after they sort of got the feeling it was a little bit crazier than usual on Friday night. So one business owner estimates they lost $7,000 this weekend. Just to give you an idea of what we're talking about, a business behind me here on 21st Street, 20th Street area, uh, broke a window because the crowd had to be maced. They then backed into the window and it broke from the outside. So that's an idea of some of the damage we're seeing as business owners start to clean up. And as we talk about what happened, what they saw Saturday night, let's take a look at some video from Saturday night that Wavy TV 10 photojournalists captured. Uh, there were a lot of arrests. There were shootings and stabbings and armed robberies, as we know. But there was also a lot of other things going on that made people uncomfortable. I'm told uh, many females were groped by complete strangers as they walked by. I'm told at points you could not cross the streets and it seemed like there was a reckless disregard for any sort of rules or normalcy. No one was following the jaywalking laws. No one was following um, the curfew. No one was following the swearing. It was just a uh, complete mob mentality is the word business owners are using. They said at times they were felt trapped in their own business and they actually would pull young women into the business to protect them and they said just stay here just wait it out. So that's the type of thing we're dealing with and by many accounts it was more than what the mayor called it a quote disruption. It was just chaos. Again, they're using the words mob mentality and they don't want this to be a battle between the city and the businesses. They want to work together to do some uh, progress, to make progress and figure out how this can be better next time. Here's what one business owner had to say about that. There is a solution. There obviously is. You know, I, I, would I want to see the college kids never come down again? No, absolutely not. They weren't an issue. You know, the, the problem were that the people that didn't go to college. You know, I think that if you know, the city works together, we have a plan, you know, maybe there's like an emergency plan where if all of a sudden there's X amount of people you know, in X amount of time fill up an area that we bring X amount of police officers. And the mayor and also the police chief are meeting today, we're told, uh, to talk about something like this, perhaps maybe an emergency plan. And I'm told by the business owners that there were just so many people so rapidly. Again, the estimates, 30,000 people, and it seems like they all showed up at once and there just simply were not enough police officers. Everyone commending the police officers for the job they did do, but there was uh, no way to deal with this type of crowd when you're talking about maybe 75, 80 police officers and 30,000 people who just are with reckless abandon, not following the rules, the laws, the normalcy that we usually see here at the oceanfront. I want to leave you with one other thing. We've spoken to a hotel owner here uh, who said they caught wind of what was happening uh, probably a week or two ago when they realized they're getting a lot of calls from uh, a certain crowd, a certain age group uh, for rooms, for rentals. This one hotel owner told us they decided not to rent rooms this weekend because they knew that there might be trouble. There might be too many young people, too many reckless people, and they said that other hotels suffered much worse than they did. They are glad they did that and did not rent the room. So that's some food for thought as we start this discussion about how can we do better as a city? How can we do better together? We're going to continue to follow this story all day. I'll see you again at 1230. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.